Welcome, Cancers. I'm back, y'all, with another video. This is going to be for um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node and South Node, okay? This is going to be a very general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what applies and leave the rest, okay? So let's get some messages. Let's see what energy is coming towards my cancers for the month of April. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button and becoming part of the community. We would love to have you here with us. As well, guys, if this message does happen to resonate with you, then be sure to hit the like button. It just keeps the channel in flow and rotation and share with your family and your friends, okay? You never know who may need to hear this message. All right, so let's talk, Cancers. We're going to get a couple more shuffles. Give me a message for the Cancer, please. All right. Ooh. Oh, wow. Someone here is love struck. And we got tears. Somebody's crying. Somebody here is crying. <laughs> What's going on here? Tell me more. Love struck. There it is. Wow. Somebody is has a fear of being alone cancers this could be you or it could be someone who you're dealing with someone is afraid of being alone we got fearful and lonely somebody here is afraid of being alone oh desire Ooh, i'm getting a lot of lust i'm getting like uh the devil energy here yeah, I'm getting like something, okay. Somebody is a worried that somebody's playing mind games with them, that they just want sex, but someone here is extremely love struck. <laughs> like literally, literally. Give me Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer's energy. Reminiscing. <laughs> so you're in your six of cups energy. You're thinking about the past. Show me journey. So this person could be coming to see you. They miss you. Or you going to see them. You miss them. Somebody is so love struck, like, and somebody's lusting after someone here as well. Give me a mutual energy between the two. Bored. Wow. So you both could be at home a lot or... Both of y'all are just bored and you're over here thinking about this person. This person could be at a distance from you or vice versa, but somebody here is still in love. Someone could have brought some tears. There could have been some issues going on in the past here, but somebody definitely wants to hook up. Be careful of hooking up just because you're bored, okay? Or you're just wanting something to do or somebody's feeling lonely. I'm getting that too. Like, somebody's hitting up somebody from their past. Like, hey, you want a link? Because, yeah, you know, maybe some of you. I do want to see why Tears is here. Tell me more about Tears. Protect and serve. Okay, so somebody here is protecting their heart. Protecting their emotions. So this is a way to not get hurt. 
I'm getting like someone here could be having, you know, connections or linking up, but there's no feelings or anything too involved. It's just because someone could be bored. Okay. Maybe this is someone that you once had a lot of love for at one point in time, but now it could have turned into something just sexual. Okay. Um, somebody doesn't want to be alone or bored here. That's what it looks like is going on. Tell me more about bored. Give me another mutual energy, please. Playful, yeah. This is just something to do. Both of y'all feel this way. Like, it's just something to do. I'm getting, like, no emotions involved. Just a lot of lust. This is someone that you once had love for, though. I feel like this is someone that you... Uh, this could be someone from your past. Yeah, look, we got upset and <laughs> he's flipping this person off. So you're like, yeah, fuck that. Look, I once loved you at one point in time, but you hurt me. So now I got to protect my heart. So now, you know, I'm just going to hit you up when I'm bored. I'm just going to hit you up when I'm bored. You're just something to do. Literally. <laughs> Just something to do. Hey, you ever heard, y'all have heard the song, okay, Michelle? You ain't nothing but a painkiller, painkiller. Like, literally. <laughs> y'all need to go listen to that song, okay, Michelle, painkiller. Because that's the vibe that I'm getting. Desire. Look at this, stalking. Somebody's been stalking and watching someone's social media sites, looking like, mm, you looking mighty good, scrumptious. <laughs> yeah, see, somebody's afraid to get their feelings involved. We got nervous and emotional. Somebody's afraid to get, get too involved. I do want to see why Journey is here, though. Is this person at a distance from you? Or, let's see, tell me more about Journey. Fearful, bad dreams. Ooh. This person is, I feel like this person may have, may fear um, getting too close to you. Because there's something here about they have to clear their head. They feel like they have to clear their head. So they may be distancing themselves from you um, out of fear because they, they feel like they need to clear their mind. Yeah, relaxed and calm. Yeah. This person over here, like they're feeling like, look, hey, I need to do, I need to clear my head. So this journey card is more like the six of swords. But I feel like you're over here thinking about this person. Why is reminiscing here? Home. Yeah. This person could could have lived with you. Look at this. Submissive. This person could have lived with you before or has came to your home or wants to come to your home. But you could be at the house just reminiscing, thinking about this like submissive should i come off more submissive how am i going to get this person back in my grasp because it looks like some it looks like y'all both were upset with each other but y'all still watch each other y'all still um play around with each other like play with each other's feelings or you know like lust after each other this person is just kind of keeping their distance because they're fearful they may have even had like a dream so they're trying to, you know, be more in a relaxed state. Ooh. Submissive. Jumped out. 
They could be doing this. This is distancing themselves from you to see if you will submit. Okay. Some of you are on a spiritual journey. Okay. So this kind of makes them a little nervous. This makes them a little nervous because they know y'all be into y'all be into something a little different. So this could kind of scare them a little bit, but I feel like some of y'all are thinking about someone from your past. They pissed you off a little, but I feel like you're lusting or thinking about them. <laughs> I want to see really quick what action is this person going to take. What action are they going to take towards cancer? Three of Wands. Ooh. And the Nine of Cups. They are really, really stuck in their head. And when it comes to this situation, like, I think they have, like, they're having, like, dreams. I am getting, like, they're having dreams. <laughs> okay, look, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. This is someone who's really, really in their thoughts. Like, they're uncertain of what to do. They're nervous. They're overthinking. And they're moving slow. Okay. Um, they're waiting. They're waiting on you. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune. And they also could be waiting to get their get back. So be careful with that as well, too. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Death. There's something here that they don't like. I feel like they feel like you switch up on them um, often. Or you flip the script. Yeah, they want you to bow down. Look at this. They do want you to be submissive. They want you to be submissive. Yeah. This person is very adamant about that. Um, like they want you to come down a little. <laughs> Not a little, a lot. <laughs> All right, so that's the message that I have for cancers. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.